Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a Heyday Farm Pass video with the focus on the town. Now I'm seeing a lot of people with issues about understanding how the actual farm pass works in the town for picking up visitors, feeding sanctuary animals, visiting the sanctuary, serving the visitors or even serving the buildings. So what I'm going to do is to break each one of these down and cover them in order as per this list showing you what you need to do with a nice simple heyday guide that I've put together. Right, the first one I'm going to focus on as I said is picking up town visitors and it is literally a very very, very easy task and all you have to do with this task is go to one of your neighbors towns and then collect one visitor or a number of visitors so to do that you click on your personal train which kind of looks like this and it's located next to your station once you've clicked on that personal train a user interface menu will come up like this showing you all of your hoodies and who's got buildings now what you've got to do is to select one of those and then it will take you to their station once you go to their station you'll see the beautiful station building there just look at that building click on that building and then again another menu will come up once you've got that menu you can then pick and choose the buildings you want whether it's for a specific building or a quantity of visitors it doesn't really matter once you've actually done that you'll then get your farm pass achievement to say hey you've actually picked up a visitor which is fantastic you've now got to go back to your actual station so click on the little train icon down at the bottom that will then allow you to go back to your station and once you get back to your station all the visitors will be dropped off and and you've basically picked up a town visitor. Very simple, very, very easy. Right, next one. Let's go and have a look at that one, which is feeding animals. Now, feeding animals is what we normally do on the farm. Feeding animals in the sanctuary is not really that different either, except there are a couple of options you need to be aware of. Now, the first thing you've got to do with feeding animals is to make the feed. You make your feed in the feed mill, and when you scroll through to the final slot there for all of the feed, you can find the actual one you need to feed the animals. Now, when you go to your actual sanctuary, the animals will be there, maybe they've been fed, they're running around, they do what they do, they go back to sleep. So the animals are now sleeping like they've got. Now you can feed those animals by sliding the feed down onto them. Uh, once you've actually done that, you've then got the option of using the whistle to wake them all up. And there you go, all two, three or four animals are done in one go. Now there is another option which is a little bit easier. So instead of actually like using the whistle option, once you've actually fed those animals, all you would then need to do is to tap on the animal. So you'll see all four animals are sleeping down there, whether it's your adults or your babies. Now, if you only need like two animals or one animal, you just tap on that one animal. It wakes up, it runs around. You then do the next one, same situation, then do the next one. And you can leave the other one sleeping maybe for another task later. Yeah, and I find tapping on the animals to be very, very easy indeed for getting that one done. And that's it. Right, next one is visiting the sanctuary. Now, this one is probably the most challenging of the tasks in the town because you have to rely on the visitors coming to your actual town itself. Now, you're looking to convert uh, this three town visitors that are coming into three town visitors that actually have visited. And this bit does take quite a bit of time. Now, what you're actually looking for is that paw print. So when you get visitors coming to your town, some will have paws, some won't. The paws are the visitors to your actual sanctuary. Now, once you've seen one of those paws, you then need to see that visitor and then send them to the building. Once they've actually gone to the building, they will be serviced uh, and you just give them the goods that they are requesting. They go through their cycle and the time ticks by, ticks by, ticks by, ticks by until the three, the four, the five or the six hours are actually done. Now, if you speed it up your turnaround time, it can be done a little bit faster. Now, once they're done, they will give you the gift. Now, this is where it actually does start focusing on visiting the actual sanctuary and looking at the animals. So it says, oh, I'd like to go and see your big beautiful hippo in this case they then go down to that like dock area that is where you can look over the sanctuary and they say "Ooh, 
Ah, ooh, that's cute. I like it. Oh my god, what a wonderful design. And they basically look at that area. They then walk back up again, and they go to where you've actually got your little book, and that little jetty that sticks out there. What they will then do is to leave a little gift for you down there. Now, once they've left that gift, that's basically it. Your actual animal has now been done, and it counts towards the total, which is wonderful. Now, this next one you've got to do is your town visitor. Now, with the town visitor, you've also got the option of serving the building. Now, or the visitor. Now, they're basically the same. So, both the visitor and the building are not different. Well, in some ways they are, because like one's for a building, one is for any building. But at the end of the day, it's the same principle. Now, what you need to do is you bring up your user interface. You then send the visitors to the buildings that they want to go to. You've got ones that are waiting, ones that have been done. It's nothing different. Now, in the case of visitor, I click on the grocery store. She then goes to my grocery store. So I've sent the visitor to the building or the one that's chosen. Now, it doesn't have to be the ones that you do. It can be the ones that are actually been done by your friends as well. So it doesn't really matter in this way who does it. But but once you've sent it to the building and you've serviced those visitors, then that task is done. And it's as simple as that. Right, that's it, everybody. I've done picking up visitors. I've fed my animals. Uh, so I fed my animals. We've looked at the sanctuary. We've served visitors. And we've done the buildings. It's very, very easy dealing with the town. Now, if you've got any questions about what to do, how to do it, or you're still not sure, let me know. And I could probably make a video showing you do this, do this, do this, instead of just a walkthrough guide like this. Right, well, that's me, Red Finish, with this video. If you've got any questions, I will see those later. But otherwise, make sure you hit the subscription button. We've got 50,000 subscribers on my channel, and my goal is 75. Make sure you help me out by clicking that beautiful subscription button. And I will see you next time. Bye now.